Welcome back, everybody! So, we are on expedition number two in the Curious Expedition. My name is Kiri, and uh, we're just gonna dive right in. Um, apparently, because I saved and I quit and then I came back in, we do not have the sad dry lands this time. Apparently, we have the unseen dry lands. But it is still a harsh and desolate area into which only experienced explorers should venture. And instead of being in the middle of China, it is now in the middle of Africa. So, yeah, why not? It's not like I have choice. I still have um, 125 fame. I thought we ended with 124. I don't know. Okay, sure. I'll take an extra point of fame. I don't mind. Um, and we're on expedition number two. So, woohoo, let's go! Eagerly anticipating the upcoming adventure, I arrived at the harbor. The captain had yet to arrive, and so I had more. I had some more time. A musician approached me while I waited. He was a collector of sorts and promised to pay well for any bongo bongos that I would return with. Bongos. Really? That is so random. Bongos. Like you would think, like maybe some guy would walk up, like, "Hey, if you find a golden skull out the middle of nowhere, I would like one." But Bongos? Huh. Okay, sure. I will look for bongos. A Parsi trader offered to join our expedition. Uh, yeah, I have like two donkeys, a British soldier, kleptomaniac, and a dog. Why not a Parsi trader? So, he is going to, uh, in his inventory, I can choose to lose some of my fame, which is at 125 right now, and buy this treasure map from him. Um, so, sure, let's buy it. It's going to cost me 20, and we can make a deal. I rejoiced as the ship was primmed to put out to sea. And so, we can purchase uh, equipment, or we can set sail, and we're going to purchase equipment, because, yeah, purchase equipment. Ooh, oh, these are some of my favorite things. A campsite. It's a portable campsite. So, uh, a portable campsite enables one to res uh, to rest in great comfort. It cannot be dismantled. But when you drop it on a map, it stays there, and so I can keep coming back to it. Um, so I'm buying that. Hell yeah, I'm buying that. Uh, a weather balloon? A balloon to collect interesting scientific data. That's odd. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's, yeah, let's buy one. Let's see what it does. So we're gonna buy both of those. Deal. Woo! Uh, is this where the map got bigger? No, it did not get bigger. Oh, but we start in the bottom corner now instead of the top corner. So, uh, what does this guy do? A new Pam Meta. A wandering merchant uh, of the Orient improves bargaining. That's awesome, but what's this? He's superstitious. Oh, he's a scaredy cat. Suffers from a rational fear of what is unknown or mysterious. Which is kind of everything, because you're on an expedition, guy. Everything. Uh, decreases prices when bartering. That's kind of awesome. Can I promote you yet? No, I have not uncovered. Oh, where's my donkey? My donkey left me. Or did we eat him? I'm down a donkey. That's sad. They took my donkey. Or I ate him. I don't really know which. Okay. Let's start by going and exploring here. Oh, a stone circle. Woohoo! We came across a stone circle that was obviously man-made. There were inscriptions etched into each rock. Maybe they formed a kind of map. Um, my merchant is getting a little shifty. He seemed visibly upset at the idea of exploring the site and warned us about disturbing the gods. Yep, we're going to do it anyway. We deciphered the inscriptions and found that they would help us to find out more about an area of our choice. Yeah! Okay, so this is very important. It's very important. Um, you almost always want to use this cool little feature somewhere in a completely unexplored part of your map. Um, and so I think I want to go, like, right boom right there in the middle so I can kind of see what's over there after some effort we successfully deciphered the inscriptions with this knowledge we were able to learn more about the surrounding area and now we're gonna leave <laughs> better hurry before the natives something or another I'm guessing find us so we're gonna leave I'm so glad this is over he's such a scaredy cat um, so we explored this part of the map 
ish so I can now view it and so I can go over there since I know there's like there's a thing like right there and it's probably either this or a cave oh you know what uh, uh ooh, lacking points okay let's go up here first and then we'll come back to the cave we'll go explore a cave oh good it's a village enter the village before I disrupt any more things we entered a native village. Its inhabitants were proud of their martial prowess and were well armed. The villagers observed, oh that's lovely, they're well armed. Totally, totally calm about all this. Yeah, I don't know about this either guy. I have no idea. <laughs> this is a little sketchy. The villagers observed us with caution. They were polite and offered us what they could. So, I think I want to recruit somebody. We talked to the villagers to see if anyone was interested in joining our cause. We found a villager who was willing to join our trek. So, I can recruit a warrior. Heck yeah, I'm gonna recruit a warrior. Native warrior joined a trek. The atmosphere was waiting to get somewhat tense. We could tell that the villagers wanted us to leave. See, and now I'm down to eight because I recruited a guy, because it took one of the guys. And that's what happens. And now it's yelling at me that I have too many trek members. So, we're gonna leave. We got ready and departed for new adventures. That uh, could be waiting around the next corner. And in distrust, the natives stared at us as we departed their village. The following days, we caught glimpses of a village warrior behind us. Well, yeah, I just... I stole one. <laughs> oh, great. He's claustrophobic. So this guy's claustrophobic. This guy is superstitious. And this guy is a kleptomaniac. That's awesome. Jeez. Reduces the risk of encountering enemies when moving through dangerous areas. That's awesome. How about this? Reduces the chance of triggering combat. Cool. Um, let's go freak this guy out. Yep, we're gonna freak this guy out. Oh, I have too many truck members. Right. Sorry, dog. Um, be free. We discussed whether it was better to part with Cooper. Dismiss. I would be better off without him. Continue. <laughs> Just, pff, dog. Whatever. You'll be fine! It's the middle of nowhere. We could have totally left you a port, but you know. <laughs> I'm so nice. Let's explore the cave. We approached a cave. It led deep into the darkness. We needed a torch to uncover its secrets. So, I have a torch. So we're going to uh, explore. Woohoo! We lit a torch and descended into the darkness. We found a concealed passage in one of the walls that seemed to lead into a another part of the cave. Only one person could fit into the opening. Oh! God, let's send... Oh, I'm such a mean person. I kind of want to send like, the guy that's totally like afraid of small spaces because I want to be kind of a jerk, but <laughs> that seems a little messed up. Okay, we'll be less bad. We're gonna, we're gonna send that guy. Um, so yay, the trader brought stuff back. Uh, we found a concealed passage. Yep, fit one person fit. We sent a new Pam... Meta to investigate the opening. After some time, uh, he, we're gonna go with he, because that's a mouthful, emerged from the darkness. He had found the skeletons of long dead expedition, of a long dead expedition just like ours. That's comforting. Together with some valuable items that they certainly were in no position to use. And so I got dynamite, which is great, because it blows up mountains, and then I found some flares, which reveal pieces of the map. So I'm taking all of it. Ooh, you know what? Do I want to do that yet? Let's try it. Oh, I only got one. Okay, we'll wait on that. So, we're gonna go over here. Go over there. Do, 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 do. We're gonna explore the waterfall. We arrived at a ma magnificent waterfall. It was an awe-inspiring sight. The water cooled down the air, creating a fresh breeze. We're gonna rest overnight. Ah, uh, Our people were losing faith, and a discussion between Retozi... Quavi and Sergeant Alexander Parnell. See what I mean? Like the, the British soldiers, man, always picking fights. Grew into a loud argument. A moment later, the two were at each other's throats, trying to strangle each other with seemingly serious intentions. And so we're gonna arrest. We're gonna arrest the native. Because I'm not spending chocolate this time. I'm sick of wasting chocolate on you people. We overwhelmed uh, Rito. Sikwavi and separated the two. They both calmed down, but since the two have taken every chance to speak ill of... Oh, but since then, the two have taken every chance to speak ill of each other. Now we're gonna go to sleep. Pray that he does not kill us in our sleep. Because that would suck. <laughs> Please don't kill me. 
You're only being a terrible person. Uh, we awoke to the gentle noise of the waterfall. Cool. We out. Uh, now... I'm gonna run into something. Uh, let's release the weather balloon. Science score plus one. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, I have no- I don't- I don't know what the science score is. If somebody knows what the science score is, they should kind of, like, fill me out a bit. That'd be great. Okay, thanks. Um... Aww. Hyenas. Again. Oh, that's cool, because we got way more dice now. We got dice for days. And we got some warriors, so we're gonna- well, BAM! Uh, there's one attack. What's that dice? Oh, there we go! See? There you go! This is what I was talking about. The riposte. I think. I think that's how you pronounce that. So, yeah, let's try that. Boom! I have no idea what that does, but it's kind of cool looking. Um, we're going to keep one extra of these. And we're going to roll those again. Does that do anything? Strong block! Boom! Double block. That. Uh, can I do them together? Nope. Okay. Uh, and then strong block. Boom! And then... End round. Nice. Nobody got hurt. That is awesome. Please don't kill my donkey. I like my donkey. He's kind of cute. He's a little cute donkey. And I already lost my dog, so... Boom. 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 Fierce attack. I like it. I wonder if I can... No. Okay. Bam! Smash his face. Sweet. So I got a hyena pelt and some raw meat. So we're going to take that. And I can't carry that, so we're going to discard that. Um, and yay, my standing went up by one. Woohoo! Uh, let's use a flare. I don't really want to walk. Oh, I can't. Okay. I was just kidding. No flare for you. No flare for you. dun da dun da dun da da No, I don't really need to rest. So we're just going to... just going to do that. Uh, came across a stone circle. He seemed visibly upset at the idea. <laughs> we'll get into trouble with the natives. Pfft, natives. They don't like me anyway. I'm like stealing their people and stuff. So we're going to analyze the uh, inscriptions. We deciphered the inscriptions and found that they would help us to find out more about an area of our choice. So we're going to select an area again. I like this. I'm getting all kinds of areas. Uh, boom. Ooh, not good. Well, the panther was easier than I thought it would be. Blasphemy! You have defiled this place! He's so angry. So angry. Much rage. Let's go up here. Bum 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 Ooh, I found a mission! Yay! Helpful little nun pe- or not nuns. Not nuns. Ooh, sorry guys. Um... We went through the gate and were greeted by an old missionary. He was visibly relieved to see new faces, as they had been out here for quite a long time. So, yeah, we're gonna stay overnight. We went through... Blah, blah, blah. The priest was greedy. Ah! What a jerk! Happy to see people. Yeah, happy to see people so you can rip them off. If we want to rest with a roof over our heads, we would have to make a donation. Okay, so... He can sell me whiskey. Oh, he wants 30. He wants 30 just for me to stay. A uh, bottle of aged whiskey, single malt, obviously, used to refill some sanity. That, I kind of like that. That's awesome. I kind of like whiskey over chocolate. Yeah. But these cost a lot. Look at that, 180. And my fame doesn't count toward this. I have 45, and it doesn't count toward this. I have to use all stuff in my, in my bags. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I like that. That's awesome. But, so there's this haggler trade skill, and when I use it, it reduces the cost by 25, and I get the skill. That's awesome. Okay. Sure. Let's haggle. Let's do this. Here, you can have some dynamite. Uh, yeah, what the heck. You can have both dynamite. So, deal! With his pockets filled, he allowed us to rest overnight. Throughout the entire evening, the priest made it very clear to us that Ritoxiquavi was not welcome here. He used every possible opportunity to insult her. Oh, I've been calling her him. Yeah, I'm not doing much better. 
Uh, Ritex Quavi was understandably upset. I like how so many of the chicks in this game are are so many of the warriors in this game are chicks. That's another bonus. I really love the dudes that created this game. By the way, you guys are awesome. Just shout out to the creators. Uh, so sleep. Woohoo! After a well-deserved rest, we are ready to partake in new adventures. The priest uh, inquired as to whether he could be of further assistance to us. Deliver fame items. Is he going to take my hyena pelts? Oh, no. Oh, I can deliver them right now. Deliver fame items. Huh? That's cool. We handed over the treasures that we had obtained during our expedition so far to free up our inventory. The priest observed in awe and we promised to have it and promised to have it delivered back to the civilized world. That's not... Um, did I get... I didn't get the points for that. I wonder if I get the points when I'm... Hmm. We gotta check that. Two hyena pelts. Don't forget it. Okay. So, we're all done. We shook hands and he wished us luck. New discoveries await. Continue. I have never found a mission before. That was... That was interesting. Uh, let's see. It's gonna be 12 or 17. We'll go this way. Oh, good. And, yeah, there was like a giant thing in a way. Do I want to use another flare? If I filled this whole, yeah, this whole area is filled out. There we go. Go to the top of the hill. Do it. Release the map. What is that? Uh, that's not a cave. Oh, I guess it is a cave. Let's go to the cave. Run! Get away from the bother! Explore the cave. We found an old campsite. Oh, see, it lied to me. I knew it. Um, likely the remains of a failed expedition for us. The skeleton of what must have been a French explorer stared at us through hollow eye sockets. Let's search the area. Ooh, another treasure map. Take it all. Okay, so we're going to use one. Uh, pinpoint, continue. Where'd it go? Right there. Back the way we came. Or, boom. Up there. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. No! No, kitty, bad kitty! Oh, he's got three hearts. Oh, I like it. May the odds be ever in your favor. Oh, bam! In your face! Strong black. Roll some dice. And then, da da! Oh, I didn't get it. Yeah, see? Uh, it's fine. Block. Okay, attack. Right? And end round. Whoops. Yeah! Nothing! Nothing! What now, kitty? Who's got claws now? I don't get how that works. Um, there we go. Strong block. Yeah, I can't do like a super attack, so we're just gonna attack. Yeah, Ada! Whooping some panther butt. Boom. Look at all that. Boom. For no good reason. Take it all. Okie dokie. Yeah, panther. Eat that. Woohoo! Golden eagle! That'll give me 50. Uh, we looked around the area to see if we could find something interesting. Almost to our own surprise, we found a carving near a big stone structure. After digging for some time around the area, we excavated something. Woohoo! Take it all! And then... Uh... I'm still at 84. Yeah, and I have a campsite and chocolate, so we're just gonna go... It's not gonna cost me 24, we're just gonna go straight up. Go! 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 Pretty sure the gold temple's in here somewhere, because we have all these extra spots. Examine the shrine! I love that this game allows you to pick more stuff up here. <laughs> we are not alone. Uh, you seriously need to calm down. I love that. She just, she just told him to his face. In your face. We should leave this place untouched. Or we could just, you know, like steal more stuff. I'm cool with just taking all the stuff. Uh, Anupam Meta was very upset with our decision to explore this place. He warned that he had uh, that we had angered the gods of this land. Fear spread amongst the group. Ooh. Well, we didn't anger the gods, but we sure got the attention of a hyena. Oh, I'm overburdened again. Okay. Uh, we're gonna drop the meat, because I can't use it. Oh, look, there's an angry gorilla guy down there now. Um, and then... 
Uh, yep, climbing gear's gotta go. Oh, we're done. Yep. Yep. Go. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Yep, okay, look around. Uh, mountain finish. Sure, let's take that too. Oh, it takes up another inventory spot. That's kind of sad. So, oh, it's valuable too. Okay. Yep, we'll discard it. We shall discard it. See, so yeah, I have 31 left. Let's go here. Yay, we found the golden pyramid! We out! Because, uh, yeah, we're already at 93 days. So, there was a golden pyramid enthroned above the landscape. Uh, the efforts of our expedition had finally paid off! Enter! After weeks of traveling, Euphoria overcame me. I knew that my name would forever be remembered. I talked with Rit Tozikwavi uh, about coming back to civilization, but she felt like she could never leave these lands. Disappointed, I had to accept her decision. So now I'm overburdened because she took off. But that's cool because I'm out and three of these things are dropping. So choose new perks. Let's see. Charismatic allows to allows to recruit up to two units per expedition. Good reputation. Start each expedition with standing a standing bonus. Or anthropology allows you to create anthropological studies of indigenous cultures for additional fame. Oh, you know, as much as I like getting the bonus standing. I kind of want to try the anthropology. This would be kind of cool to be able to get some like additional fame from just like seeing tribes. So, yep. Success. So here you are. So my current fame is 45. Uh, I found the golden pyramid is 120. Yeah, yeah, they showed up. Two hyena pelts, 10. Good man. He's he's a grifter. He kind of like robbed me just to stay the night in his place, but he was kind enough to, you know, and the hyena pelts on. Um, and then we got a panther pelt for 15, a golden eagle for 30, a golden llama for 30. <laughs> yeah, golden llama. I kind of just want to keep it. It just sounds cool. I get a golden llama. You know, it's whatever. <laughs> and then three butterflies for six fame points. Minus 93 days, it gives me a new total of 163. Finish! And that is that! So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we're gonna do, uh, possibly the untouched desert next. Scorching heat and sand as far as the eye can see to make this area completely inhospitable. Um, apparently that's the only one available to us. So we apparently may or may not do this because I will save an exit here and when I bring it back up again to record another episode, we'll see if we, I'm pretty sure we'll still get a desert, but we'll see if we get this desert. So thanks for joining me. Throw a like on the video if you enjoyed watching um, or subscribe to my page, which is even better. Um, so that's it. Thanks so much guys. Bye.